This episode of Richard's Tech Tips is brought to you by Photosync to PC. Synchronize all your photos from any Android device to your Windows PC today. Click to get more information today. Hi everyone. Okay, so in this video, I'd like to show you guys what sort of wattage, what sort of power is used by your cell phone charger charging your cell phone. So stay tuned, sit back, relax, and you'll see what sort of power your cell phone charger uses. So I have a Samsung Note 2 and I have the original adapter which is also a Samsung adapter. So I'm going to show you when I, po when I power this adapter on what the power usage is going to be. Okay, so I'm back and the first thing I'm going to do is plug in my, my, power, my power checker, if you want to call it that. And I hope you guys can see the value there will show you the voltage which is 129 volts so that means I'm getting about a, over 120 volts of power. Now this is my Samsung, I gotta get it in focus right, my Samsung adapter and here's the USB port and so I'm going to check to see so we're going to switch this to wattage to check watts and I'm going to check to see without any device connected, what sort of power this, this adapter uses. So I plugged it in, as you can see, it's plugged in with my long cable, and it uses actually 0, 0.0 watts, so it's really efficient when plugged in. It's actually not using, it's using so little bit that it can't even be detected. And now, my phone, I just plugged in so it's charging and as you can see here it's charging at the top there and have a look at the power usage the actual power usage is of course varying now just zoom in a little bit closer between 3.3 watts up to just now about 4.7 so as you can see it uses very little wattage it uses very little current and so, uh, we will come to the discussion about this device right after I switch again. All right, so let's put this into perspective. The Samsung charger used nearly negligible, nearly negligible, it was negligible, 0.0, .0 watts of power when it was not connected to actually charge. When it was connected to the outlet, but not connected on the other end to the phone to be charged. When we decided to charge the phone, it used approximately between 3.2 watts of power to 4.7 watts of power. Let's then average it at 5 watts of power. It would therefore take, and putting it into perspective, it would therefore take 20 times the time, the time we use to actually power a 100 watt light bulb with one of these, you know, little devices so let's put that into perspective if the light bulb was using a lot of power at 100 watts it would take and let's say it took one hour it would take 20 hours of this charge this device charging in order for it to use the amount of power one 100 watt light bulb would use with that being said a lot of the times we do actually leave our chargers in the outlet and so in this situation we can do so we can leave it in the outlet because it uses very negligible when it's not charging and that brings me to the other point which is there are devices out there smart devices which switch off the power of the outlet when it's not in use do you need that in this circumstance i don't believe so maybe perhaps for a device such as your computer for example something that actually draws a lot of power then you could decide on using it because you will also spend a lot of money to purchase these smart devices so with that being said i hope you now understand more about the power wattage looking at the electricity and seeing whether these things actually affect your electricity bill in some major way i don't think in this case 
it affects your electricity bill in a major way. For example, if I would not, if I'm not to be mistaken, it takes me about two hours or two hours to charge my phone, which means that it is using negligible power even to charge my phone. That's the Samsung phone. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more videos like this. Subscribe to my channel. Like it if you like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't like it. Send me a comment. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And thanks again for watching my video. Bye.